Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button and smash that bell for your notification. If you're returning, welcome back and thank you for my supporters, patrons and all that. Today's topic is gonna be a Tesla overdue refresh of the Model S and Model X. Uh, some people thought it will be happening at the Tesla Model Y. Uh, unveiling a couple weeks ago but didn't happen and when we talk about Tesla um, um, uh, refresh it's not necessarily to the uh, outside of the car how do they look like if you remember the original Tesla's fascia looked uh, this way and then later on it was a refresh and then and they now look this way so I'm not necessarily uh, focusing on that part of the Tesla refresh, even though that could happen, uh, but we're talking about really a battery refresh. As you know, now with the rollout of the version 3, V3, uh, super, I call them the super superchargers, uh, that can give you the ability of uh, 250 kilowatt. That is an average of a thousand miles per hour. Obviously, you're not going to get a thousand miles, but you get a jolt of energy at the first 10-15 minutes and as you know the Tesla Model 3s are the um, are the biggest beneficiary of that technology uh, and the, the, the uh, Tesla Model S's and X's that exist are not do not have ex the exact technology for that especially with the thickness of the cable of the charging cables that are going to the um, to the battery and also the cooling system that will not a, uh, able uh, the Model S's and X's to, to receive this kind of jolt. So uh, Tesla Model S and X, beside the, uh, the outside appearance of how they look like a refresh, they will also need to uh, probably have the ability to receive this kind of uh, battery charging um, uh, capabilities and also battery uh, battery sizes. As you know, for the longest time, the most popular Tesla Model S, for example, was the 85, 85D, the P85D and all that. Later on, it, it basically was discontinued. There was a 90D uh, and the P90D and all that. Right now, basically, you get the um, uh, Tesla, uh, you know, long range, the 325 miles, that's 100, uh, 100D uh, for a base price of $85,000. You can get the performance for 315 miles for $99,000 uh, starting price. And then you can get the ludicrous mode for the performance for 119,000 miles. So basically, you get really truly two options i mean there's obviously the ludicrous mode as a third option but in terms of miles the range you basically you get two options the the uh, the 100d and the p100d basically so there is a thought and a, or a talk with new battery technology of getting something like uh, let's say 140 kilowatt uh, we're talking about maybe 400 miles uh, with the new capability of receiving this um, this uh, technology, this uh, ability to charge in a in a version three uh, supercharging uh, network. Uh, also, the Model X, you know, it came f about four years after the Model S was uh, unveiled and, and sold, and that uh, you know it had all it had the 60 kilowatt uh, version. Uh, just like the Model S did, it had the uh, 70, 75, 90, and basically now it's settled to the um, 100D uh, for 295 miles for $89,500, the 289 miles of the performance for 104,000, and then the ludicrous for 124,000, and basically. Uh, I mean, a few just a, let's say maybe a month ago, Tesla had like a standard base, and then that was discontinued quietly. So I feel that Tesla is playing with this, um, with these versions and these capabilities for all kinds of reasons, uh, you know, of what sells and what doesn't, and margins. Obviously, margins are very, very important. But I think that Tesla Model S and X are due for a big refresh. Uh, both um, outwardly and both um, 
in terms of the uh, uh, battery charging and also importantly the battery size uh, as as people them expect expect for that for that money uh, to get uh, a lot more range I mean uh, uh, even the the biggest uh, Tesla Model S, the biggest Tesla Model S in terms of uh, 100D gives you 325, uh, 320, 35 miles. Uh, the Tesla Model, my Tesla Model 3 gives you that, that range. In other words, range uh, to take, not that it's an issue anymore, but to take out all the anxieties and all the hesitations is the king. This is the king of, of, of EVs. And so uh, fast charging equivalent to almost the gas station experience talking about a five minute a five minute experience or seven minute experience with the the new uh, tesla chargers and a big battery really makes switching from gasoline car to a, a, a tesla or electric car moot and i think those are the two things i mean people uh, you know diehards will do what diehards do but people are not still not willing to wait 20 minutes 40 minutes in a supercharger on a 200 miles drive uh, and so forth so uh that that is that is the next step in 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 more adaptation of uh, of electric cars let me know what you think guys hope you enjoyed this little information session i'll see you tomorrow with another video meanwhile don't forget to subscribe my channel help me change the world one electric car at a time see you tomorrow again.